Good morning, friends. As I sit here editing this week's video, I can't help but be filled with absolute gratitude for this little corner of YouTube that we are building. In seven short months, we have surpassed a thousand subscribers and I couldn't be more excited about this momentous milestone. I am very much enjoying the process of making these videos, and I truly hope that y'all enjoy watching them as well. So as you continue to watch this week's video, please just know that I am beyond grateful for each and every one of you who has chosen to come along this journey with me. I couldn't pass up this opportunity to share with y'all this gorgeous mantle that my husband brought home for me while he was on a business trip last week. The owner had been hanging on to it for a couple of years with hopes of eventually doing something with it, but she never got around to it, so she offered it to my husband at no charge. I couldn't believe it. I can't wait to incorporate it into our bedroom later this year it's going to be so beautiful. I have learned over the years that oftentimes the best inspiration is the kind that comes when you least expect it. Like when you're walking through the grocery store to pick up a prescription, when a cheerful yellow bouquet of daisies just has to come home with you. And then once you get them home, they end up inspiring you to refresh your whole kitchen. These are my favorite kinds of inspiration. After I left the grocery store, I went into the Goodwill just around the corner and found this sweet little crystal bowl. I think it will be perfect for displaying the lemons and the limes until we get a chance to use them. Have you ever walked into a thrift store hoping that you will find one specific item and then almost immediately you see that said item? Well, that was the case with this hammered metal watering can that I picked up for $3.99 at Goodwill. I absolutely cannot wait to use it. A couple of months ago, my 13-year-old daughter decided she wanted to learn to crochet. Turns out, she's a natural. This washcloth was the first project that she completed, and I love using it daily to clean the kitchen. So once inspiration has been sparked, I oftentimes have a really difficult time shutting it off. It just keeps pouring out. And needless to say, since our dining room and our kitchen are connected to each other, 
this refresh kind of spilled into the dining room portion of the room as well. I had built this plate rack when we first bought the house and I absolutely love it for displaying some of our dishes. However, I had originally painted it a black color that just felt too modern for what I really wanted to do in the space. So I took this moment to go ahead and give it a bit of a refresh as well. I repainted it with the Edgecomb Gray from Benjamin Moore that I used in the living room for the board and batten and the mantle. And I think I'm going to be incorporating that color even more into the space in the coming months because I love the warm, neutral tone of that color. It's just so beautiful without being a stark white, which I am trying to get away from. Our old kitchen was very much more farmhouse style, and that is not the vibe that I want in this house. I'm not sure that it ever really was my style to begin with. So that's actually kind of one of my favorite parts about getting older is the way that I'm starting to come into my own when it comes to my design style that I don't necessarily just do what everybody else is doing anymore um, just because that's what's so readily available. I've definitely felt like in the last couple of years that especially with all of the family heirlooms that I have, it's kind of helped allow me to redefine my own style and it's allowed me to make our home more unique in the process.
One of my favorite things to do when decorating is shopping my own home. In this case, I decided to switch the dining room curtains with the ones that were hanging in our bathroom. These thick green velvet drapes are absolutely beautiful, but they're starting to make the room feel way more dark than I would like. I am definitely ready for something lighter and airier in this space.
I hope that you guys have enjoyed this week's video. If you did, please consider subscribing if you haven't already. Make sure to hit that like button. Leave me a comment down below to let me know what your favorite part of the video was. I am so grateful for this opportunity to share our home with all of you and I can't wait to continue to make more and more videos for you guys down the road. So until next time, bye guys.